Yeah. And we need to talk about Disney and uh, the less work employees amongst them, the silent majority opposing the latest move to the fairy godmother who is, you know, the boutique bibbity bobbity boo Sure. You know? Yeah. Um, she's being a bit of... Oh God, I, can't, I don't even know what pronouns to use. Gender neutral now. So I don't even know what that even means. I think Does it surprise you, though? No, but I think what's wrong with these people? What's wrong with these people? Why do they have to ruin everything? Mm -hmm. And that's what they're doing. They're ruining everything. These are fairy tales. These are time-honoured stories that we tell our kids. And it's not... We've, the, the Disney agenda has been exposed. Mm. That's now clear. Parents can make the decision about what they expose their children to. So no one's holding a gun to your head as a mum and making you watch a Disney program with all sorts of woke garbage in it. But I would say, what is wrong with these people? I mean, this is this is just something pure and, you know, I am a godmother. I'm not a god person. Mm. I'm not a god birthing person. I am a godmother. And the rest of them can go and take a, a long uh, leisurely walk off a very short cliff if they try to change that. They can refer to themselves however they want. Mm. They can live their lives in peace and do no harm. But don't try mm. and change everything else to suit their own agenda. Well, it's just the easy thing to do because, uh, like, when it comes to... Sure, we saw Bill Shorten. You can change the name on a form. But when it comes to focusing on things like changing the NDIS, changing the childcare policy, that's where the real reform <gasps> should happen. I, I think... I think my take, and I, and I, and I hope I'm right, my, my take is that... This sort of stuff is really beginning to get people's goat. Not because... And people who object to this aren't bigoted and they're not anti-anything. Mm. They're just pro-common sense. Mm. Like, my mother is my mother. She's not my birthing person. And I'm not going to call her anything other than my mother mm. to make somebody else, you know, feel included. That's not... It's, this is when in, so-called inclusiveness becomes absolutely exclusive. It's an absolute nonsense. Mm. And I think maybe it's taken this tipping point for people to go, just just enough of it. Yeah. Enough of it.